Well, earlier on this year, Doki Tidy Towns decided to join the sustainable energy community. In order to launch and publicise the initiative amongst the local residents and businesses, we decided to run a Save Energy show. We decided to invite a number of speakers who are immersed in carbon emissions and we were recommended by one of our mentors to have people of all ages. So we contacted the transitioners teacher in the Reto Abbey Dorky who nominated Jessica Kelly. Well, following our show in March, wow, we were very impressed with how uh, she, well she spoke at our show. With uh, young champions like this, um, the sustainable energy goals will be achieved by everybody. That's why we nominated Jessica for the Emerging Champions Award. Doki Tidy Tans, when we got the news last week, we're delighted to hear that Jessica had won the award and we are very proud of her as a local. I'm absolutely thrilled to have won the Emerging Sustainable Energy Champion Award. It's genuinely such a surprise, but I'm absolutely over the moon. I'm honoured and I hope that I can do it justice by continuing to be an advocate for the environment within my community. So I can actually trace my interest in sustainability back to a school science fair when I was nine or ten. I was living in California at the time and innovation was just everywhere and I made a project, I built a small little circuit that took the energy generated by a spinning bike wheel and used it to cool your water bottle as you cycled and for me that moment I realised that energy is everywhere if you know where to look and the rest is history. If there's one thing that I'd like to see people do when it comes to the fight against climate change I'd like to see people reevaluate and reassess how we travel, especially at the minute we're not traveling. So we have a golden opportunity to think about how we can cut the environmental costs of our journeys. Even if that just means walking, cycling, sharing lifts, or even just doubling up some of our journeys to make the most of our resources. I think that we've a golden opportunity right now and we should make the most of it.